Hi there guys, Adam from The Beard Solution here, back with another video on my Minoxidil beard series. This is month 21, using Minoxidil on my face to grow a beard, and as you can see so far, it is working. Now all the links to my journey videos can be found in the description, including a link to the playlist for my first year. But without further ado, let's get into this month's update. So guys, 21 months using Minoxidil on my face to grow a beard, 22 months on the journey technically, but I took a month break and I don't really count that amongst my journey months. I just count that as a bit of a break. I'm planning to finish using Minoxidil probably just after the two year period because I have a few bottles of Minoxidil that I want to get basically finished before I quit using Minoxidil. And that is my three and a half bottles of 10% mint top liquid with L-carnitine L-tartrate powder that I have added. Two gain 10%, one bottle, uh, pretty much a full bottle here as well actually, uh, which has L-carnitine L-tartrate in as well. Um, and also a can of 10% two gain foam, which was very expensive. It cost me about 20 pounds for one can, but I wanted to try out a 10% foam and I just wanted a foam for the morning. So when I go to work, my beard isn't full of dead skin uh, and that's working out okay so far. Now, I, as I said, I've got L-carnitine L-tartrate in all of those bottles and I'll do a quick update on L-carnitine L-tartrate in a moment. But first, I'm just gonna quickly run through my routine at the moment, which is generally to apply Minoxidil twice a day. I don't always do that. Sometimes I am only applying it once a day. Other times I'm forgetting to apply Minoxidil completely during the day. Um, that brings me on to a point, guys, if you're very new to using Minoxidil, try and remain as consistent as you possibly can. Like for planned applications in the first year, I only ever missed two in the whole year for what I'd actually planned out to do. Um, and I believe that it's really important for the success of your Minoxidil journey to be as consistent with using Minoxidil as possible. Uh, but I've gotten a bit lazy after nearly two years on Minoxidil, I'll be completely honest. I only dermarolled once last month and I hadn't dermarolled for ages before that, um, but I am switching to the 192 dermaroller and I will be doing a video on that very shortly as to why. Uh, other than that, L-carnitine, L-tartrate, is it making a difference? I personally feel like it is. I personally think my facial hair is a lot better from month 19 to now. Uh, obviously in month 19, I think I'd had quite a bit of shedding, so that was in December. Uh, and my beard was really thin on the cheeks at that point. Uh, and then since then, I really think that my beard has improved. Now I have been using 10% Minoxidil for the past month, so that might be a reason as to why it started improving even more. I also dyed my beard the other day, but I was even getting these comments, and I even felt like this before I dyed my beard, that my beard had improved significantly from using L-carnitine L-tartrate. Now, is that the case? I don't know, maybe it's a bit of confirmation bias on my part. I'll let you guys be the judge with the photos very shortly, what you think. Um, but just following on from what other guys have said, they feel like their beards are either they're getting more gains or their beard feels thicker and fuller. And it doesn't cost very much to buy L-carnitine L-tartrate. It's gonna set you back at most like 10, 11 dollars or seven or eight pounds if you're in the UK. Uh, no matter where you are in the world, it's not particularly expensive uh, and you can pick it up dirt cheap. And you only need to add a gram per bottle. And if you're wondering what L-carnitine or tartrate will do, uh, then feel free to check out the video that I already did on it. I don't have time to explain it in this video. In regards to L-carnitine or tartrate, I think you should just give it a shot. I feel as though I've benefited from it, but again, that's kind of really subject to my own opinion. It could have been I was recovering from shedding. It could be that um, the 10% Minoxidil has really bumped up. It could be even the dye has helped even more to that illusion. Uh, it could be timing. It could just be general Minoxidil progress. It could just be general you know, natural progress, it's really hard to determine. And so I can't unfortunately give you like a definitive answer on L-carnitine, L-tartrate, but I do think it's worth a shot and it's not gonna cost you very much money. So now I'm gonna show you my month 21 pictures and compare them with my month 19 pictures and you guys can determine for yourself whether you think there's been any progress there. I think that you can notice progress there, specifically in my underlip, um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let's get into it. Wait. Time for a cool down. Call up the lads, get them all round. We bun herbs and we've never been caught out. I'm a big mic man from a small town. I used to spit bars on a school ground. Now I'm in studio week after week. Bar for bar, beat for beat. There's no genre he can't defeat. He's an animal eating up MCs for breakfast. Leave man breathless, heading to the exit. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get this. Let me show why I shine like necklace. Too hard for them. New bars for them. I cruise past the leng. Still got a smirk on my face. I only work if it's paid. Before I write bars, I'll purchase an eight. So guys, thanks very much for watching this video. I really hope that you found it interesting and that you like following my journey. If you do, then feel free to hit that like button and subscribe as well by hitting the notifications bell. You'll get 
updates to when I basically record and upload my videos. Uh, also, massive shout out to each and every one of you that has subscribed so far because you helped me hit 7,000 subscribers on the very day of my 21 months on Minoxidil. So that was awesome to have that as a nice little wake up. Um, so thank you very much. And also guys, if you do have any comments, questions or queries or any suggestions for future videos, then do feel free to pop a comment in the comments box below. And I try and respond to everyone as quickly as I possibly can. Thanks very much for watching guys. And I will see you again next time. But you don't rate me cause I ain't got a blue tick, but I got one on the top that gave me. I don't even know what's real